Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie, and today we have part two of my uh, teaware collection. And today we're going to be working with, or looking at, um, my teapots and tea sets. So any of the teapots that actually have a full set that go with them, we're going to showcase those as well as any of my actual teapots. And so then we will also have part three coming up, and that will be all of my teacups. So, first off is my very first tea set. So this little tiny cute little kid tea set. So it has the pot and these little cups, so little cups and saucers. And for some reason, I only have two saucers. I don't know if the other ones got broken or what happened to the other saucers, but I do have four plates. And the cream and sugar. So super tiny cuteness. I don't believe I've ever actually used this with real tea, but I had numerous tea parties with this set growing up with water. Um, I think potentially Kool-Aid. But, yeah. So then, for my second set, I have what was my grandmother's set growing up. And this one is made in Japan. Uh, so it's got this beautiful yellow rose design. This is actually a decent sized pot um, that I have considered actually using. But it has its matching sugar bowl and lid. That's one thing I love about my collection is everything has all of its parts. So I have the creamer that goes with it. And there are six of these little cups, which I'm assuming are probably one ounce, one and a half ounce cups. And they're matching plates. So this is a beautiful little set. But it's got all these cute cups. So it's very, very lovely. I'm trying to keep everything organized down here. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. And then this set was given to me I don't exact I don't really know the story of a lot of my teaware because so much of it's just been like hand-me-down stuff but this has always just kind of been like intended to be mine um, but I love this because the detailing is silver and you see that so rarely mostly detailing is gold and it's got this cool feather design and that just reminds me of Pocahontas sort of vibes uh, it is a Royal Sealy from Japan, but this is a nice, large, and kind of really dirty uh, pot. All this stuff needs cleaned. I, this I just all got out of storage. So, um, some of my stuff I have out that I use every day, but then I have a lot in storage while I'm waiting to get a curio cabinet. So this is a sugar bowl. It's really nice size. Like this whole set is really decent size. And it's creamer. And at some point this was broken, but it was repaired. It's a cute little creamer. And then it has six of these teacup and saucer sets. The cups are fairly small. So it's not really like an adult size tea set, or at least not a like British style adult tea set. Um, okay, so those are all the tea sets that I have. So I don't have anything full sized. Um, so now I'm going to show my tea in one sets, starting with this one. This has pretty purple pansies on it and it just says made in china it's not any specific brand but it's a teeny teeny tiny 
little tea in one set, like probably two or three ounces. I haven't used this. Um, I'm not sure what I would really use it for, but it's very pretty. And then I found this tea in one set at an antique shop and just had to get it because I love it because I love the little clovers and it's just in beautiful, beautiful condition. It has no markings on it, um, but it's a pretty decent size. I think the cup's about six ounces and the pot's a little bit more than that, but it's it's quite sizable and I've just used this cup on its own as well so it's pretty nice little set okay. and then move on to not traditional teapots but my simplicity teapot which I use daily um, just because it's super simple to clean and you can watch the tea unfurl and there's plenty of space for the tea and it has the built-in filter. And then my newest fun teapot that I got from my aunt for my birthday is this adorable little book teapot with Jane Austen books and this book on top. It is a Carters of Suffolk teapot and they have a lot of really neat designs this one and they're all they're also they all are designed to be used however I don't know how I'm gonna like, get tea in and out of this hole so I'm not sure this is a one cup size so I think it's really cute and be awesome display I just don't know about using it necessarily but definitely display piece okay then I also have this teeny little teapot from Rare Tea Co. This is their 150 milliliter ceramic pot, which is super cute. And then for my larger ones, I have this glazed cast iron pot from Adagio. This is their Lucky Teapot, I think it's called. I don't know that it's available, but they do have some glazed pots still available. So it is fully glazed inside and out, so this can be used as a pot and a kettle. It's quite heavy, and this is the smaller size, so this is only like two or three cups worth. So it's got this big strainer nice heavy duty this was my splurge last year of I want a pretty teapot <laughs> and then this one is the first teapot that I bought myself uh, so I got this like well back in high school uh, this is from Adagio but you can also find these several other places. This style pot, I know Happy Lucky's Tea House also carries them. But it's got this inset lid and this decent sized strainer. It's about 20 ounces. So it's nice for a good couple cups. And it matches my um, purple teacups that I showed in my last video. And then finally, I have this white pumpkin teapot, which I think I've shown on the channel before. Yeah, I showed this before on my go-to teaware. This is the white pumpkin pot from Churchill's Tea. And this, this is really my go-to teapot. If I'm going to use a teapot, I don't typically because I'm usually the only one drinking the tea. And so that's why most of them are small. I don't have any larger teapots. Um, so it's got this lid. And it's got this really nice finer mesh strainer that goes pretty much to the bottom of the pot. So this is nice and I believe this is also still available at Churchill's, but I'm not sure. So there is all of my teapots and my tea sets. So make sure you are subscribed 
and uh, so you can uh, make sure you know when I upload next and you don't miss out on my teacup collection video because it's extensive. <laughs> so uh, if you liked this video, make sure you like down below and thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye.